I was busy thinking about boys. Boys. They're no. boys, though. Don't you want men? Yeah, that's true. Hello. So on the journey of me figuring out how to work on my car or on my van, I'd recently just changed my oil. It's the first time I've done this. Uh, it was really easy and I made a little how-to. So you need a 13 millimeter socket wrench, an oil pan that can hold up to three-ish gallons of oil, rubber gloves, paper towels, or shop towels, a new oil filter, 12 quarts of oil, and an oil filter wrench. First step, loosen the oil plug bolt that can be found underneath the van. Mine was actually kind of stuck on there, so I had to use like a piece of pipe to kind of stick it on the end of the socket wrench and then like push really hard to get it off. My friend Linus helped me with that. And then put your oil pan underneath, obviously. I didn't have an oil pan big enough, so I had to get a bucket. And then I worked out pretty well, actually. And then while that's happening, you can put the oil filter wrench on top of the oil filter and kind of start loosening that. Just use a socket wrench to loosen it up and kind of pull it out. The oil filter that I had was about 12,000 miles in, and I think in the Sprinter vans, like in the diesel engines, it says about 10,000 miles for every oil change, so I was about 2,000 over. Ta-da! Yeah. I have to get the new one, this one here. Then you take off the old oil filter, and then there's these little tiny O-rings that go around it. Oh my god, everything's fine. That was a little bit of force, wasn't it? Hmm. Let me hope that that's the right one. Well, that fit on a lot easier. Looks good. Yeah. Little o-ring things. <laughs> Tiny o-ring. Just the tip. Just for a second. Just the tip, just for a second. Just to see how it feels. Yeah and place that with a new oil filter, new little O-rings, and put everything back together. That's what it will look like in there. Bam. The thing that I'm doing that's not supposed to happen. Seal that back down. Once all the oil has drained out of the van, go back under, put the oil plug back in, make sure that little um, copper washer is still there, and then fill up your oil. And I think for me it took about two and a half to three quarts of oil, but then I was a little overfilled so I had to drain some. So I think next time it would be like two and a half quarts of oil and then just have some for topping it off. And yeah, that's it. It's really not that difficult. It's cheap to do it yourself. So yeah, spend about 80 bucks and change your oil yourself. It'll be great. Follow me on Instagram at One Chick Travels, Facebook, One Chick Travels, and Twitter at Kaya Says. And you can go to my website at onechicktravels.com for blog posts and buying anything in this van. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you next time.